Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I'm answering a question from the Statistics S1 textbook. This is from Chapter 6, Discrete Random Variables, and um, this is Exercise 6D and Question Number 7. It says a random variable x has a probability distribution given by this table. So these numbers 1, 2, 3 represent the possible values of the random variable. These are the three different possible numbers that can show up um, in this distribution. And A, B, and A, these are the probabilities of those occurring. Of course, we don't know the values of A and B. We've got to obviously find them later on. So first part, A says write down an expression for the expected value of X in terms of A and B. So E, X is basically, you could say that it's the mean or the expected value, which is found um, kind of similarly to how you'd find the mean when you are d using a frequency table. You multiply the amount x by its frequency here, by, you multiply x by its probability. So it's 1 times a plus 2 times b plus 3 times a. That's going to give you a plus 3a, 4a plus 2b. So that's ex in terms of a and b. Okay. Remember, like with a normal frequency table, you then divide by the total of the frequencies. Well, we know that the total of these frequencies is equal to 1. And that's probably something that's going to help us later on in the question. I know from here that A plus B plus A, the probabilities must equal 1. So we can say from this that 2A plus B equals 1. And that might help us later on. Now for part B, that's part A. Part B, it says, given that the variance of x equals 0 0.75, 3 quarters, find the values of a and b. Now I know that the variance of the variance of something is equal to, the, the variance as we should have learned is the mean of the squares minus the square of the mean. That's like the way we memorize it. So in this case it's going to be the mean of the squares which is ex squared minus the square of the mean which is ex all squared. All right now, ex squared this one is going to be basically when you take the x values and you square them. So that's 1, 4, and 9. And you multiply those by the probabilities. So I can say the variance of x, which is the 0 0.75 or 3 quarters, I'll, I'll write it as a fraction, equals ex squared, which is 1 times a plus 4 times b plus 9 times a. That's this part. Minus the square of the mean. Now, I could take this 4a plus 2b. And I could square it. I could do that. That's one option I can use. And I'll still get the answer because I'll end up with um, uh, you know, a pair of equations with A and, a and B in it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something very um, kind of like a, um, a, 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 kind of like a shortcut. Because I can see from my distribution that we have a symmetrical distribution. Now, when the distribution is symmetrical, like the value of A, B, and A, these two are the same number. So when you have this symmetry then the mean is always the middle number. It's symmetrical. It's completely symmetrical. So the mean is 2. So I know that the value of Ex is definitely equal to 2. Okay, this is from the symmetry of the distribution. Okay, so Ex is, a, is another word for the mean, and it is equal to this number here, which is in the middle of these. You know, if I see you've got 1, 2, and 3, then in order, starting from 1, it's going to be like... 3 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 2. So that is the mean. So I know that Ex is equal to 2. So I can put this as, as I said, Ex is equal to 2. So I can write this as 2 squared. Now that will make my life way easier. Now if I didn't see it was symmetrical, then I'd have to use this and put it here. And I have, I have to do 4a plus 2b and square it. I'll end up with a quadratic with a and b. And then I'll have this equation with a and b. And I would get my answer in the end. Okay, and be fine. But if you can spot something like that, it's just going to make our life that much easier. So now what I can do is, I, I can say this is 3 quarters equals, that's 10a plus 4b minus 4. Now let's get rid of the fractions. Let's just multiply everything by 4. So you have 3 equals 40a plus 16b minus 16. So we, we can say that 40a plus 16b equals minus 16, you know, add 16 to both sides, that's 19. And I have my other equation that I mentioned before that we worked out, that 2a plus b equals 1 from the fact 
that the, the sum of the probabilities is equal to 1. So I have one equation, 40a plus 16b is equal to 19. And then I have the other equation, which is 2a plus b equals 1. So what I can do is here is I can use some sort of substitution. That's probably the easiest thing to do. So b is equal to 1 minus 2a. So I can replace the b here with 1 minus 2a. So I have 40a plus 16 times 1 minus 2a equals 1. Let me just move this um, on this side so we can see what we'll be doing. All right. So now I can find what a is. So um, I have 40a plus 16 minus 32a is equal to 1. 40a minus 32 is equal to 19, sorry. That's a 19, not 1. Okay, so that's a 19. So 40a minus 32a is 8a, and 19 minus 16 is 3, so a is equal to 3 over 8. And we want to find what b is. Now we know b is 1 minus 2 times a, so b is 1 minus 2 times 3 over 8. That cancels with that. So it's 1 minus 3 quarters which is a quarter. So we can say A is equal to 3 over 8, and B is equal to 1 over 4. And we can check to see if they add up to, uh, if I have A plus, uh, 2A plus B, so 2A, that's going to be 2 over 4, which is the same as, um, sorry, 2A, that's 6 over 8, plus 1 quarter, that's 6 over 8, plus 2 over 8, that's 8 over 8, that's right. So we can see that they, they add up to one. So that kind of like justifies our answer. So there we have the two the two values a and b. Now you know the way the the key for this really to to do this question in an easy way is to understand that when you have a symmetrical distribution, then what's in the middle is the um, mean. So if there was for example, if it, for example it was one two three four and it was symmetrical, like it was said for example a b b a for example then the mean, the middle term would be 2.5. The mean would be 2.5, halfway along these numbers. Okay, so that's the key to understanding how to do with this question. Um, but it's still doable, even if you didn't understand that. All right, we would have ended up with this being, instead of 2, we've had 4a plus 2b all squared. So then we would end up with a quadratic with a and b in it. Okay, and um, we'll, we'll have to then use substitution replacing the b's with 1 minus 2a you'll end up with you know a more complicated answer and it should give you the right answer in the end as well no problem but it's much easier if you can spot that okay so there's the answer to question number seven of exercise 60. i hope that was clear um for the student who asked me this question okay any other questions you have from the book from the uh, past papers okay please don't hesitate to ask so this, this question um, can be found in the playlist for this chapter of S1, which is going to be, this is from the textbook, the, the Edexcel textbook. So the playlist for this chapter in that textbook is over here. Um, you know, if you, uh, as I'm asked questions from this chapter, I will put them in this playlist. Okay, so if you see a question you want me to answer, then please let me know and I'll try and answer it as soon as I can and put it in that playlist. Other questions from the topic of discrete random variables of chapter six can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.